Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. And this video is kind of an update with you or kind of an elaboration on my insights about telling the truth. Um, because my last video, if you've seen it and go watch it if you haven't seen it already, it's called Honesty Relationships and LSD. And in that video, I'm talking about a relationship I have currently um, with a woman, um, a very close and intimate relationship. She's not my girlfriend, but still. And in that video, I was talking about us having difficulties in the relationship because we weren't telling each other the truth. And in my opinion, that was the reason why uh, there was a lot of instability in the relationship and still is. So in the last few days, I really strive to be as honest as I can with the people in my life. And it was received very well from a few people, from a few friends of mine. I told them some, yeah, mistakes I made and some things I fucked up and it was hard for me to get over that and to tell this to those people because yeah you're not proud of it I'm not proud of the things I did um, it wasn't like anything bad it was just related to me managing money in a really bad way and I'm going to talk about this uh, my gambling addiction but this video is about uh, the relationship I have with her and how it turned out to tell the truth to each other in the last few days. Mm, and I've seen her for the last two days and yeah, like the title of the video says, telling the truth kind of sucks, but it's definitely worth it. And telling the truth sucks is because it hurts or it can really hurt our feelings, which in the first place is why we sometimes avoid to tell the truth, because it's really uncomfortable, it can be really uncomfortable, and it can hurt a lot of people, and we are mostly afraid of the consequences, so we avoid to tell the truth. And in my case specifically, uh, we were able to tell the truth to each other, and first, went in a really bad way because she was really pissed at me and she didn't understand why I need to know the truth and she thought it was not a good way and that there are things you shouldn't talk about but my opinion differed and still it's the same about telling the truth like radical honesty and then, like it is with the truth, after we told each other the truth and after there was a lot of uncertainty when we talked two days ago, suddenly things went into a really good direction. And I was really appreciative of her telling me all those things. And I want to read... Uh, part of the book called Radical Honesty by Brandon Alton uh, that really pinpoints uh, why I think telling the truth is so important and the effect it has on relationships. So here's the part uh, I want to read to you. When we reveal more, we have less to hide. When we have less to hide, we are less worried about being found out. When we are less worried about being found out, we can pay better attention to someone else. In this way, telling the truth makes intimacy and freedom possible. And I really experienced that with her uh, because we get really close to each other again. She even said to me, I miss you, not because we haven't seen each other, in a long time but because 
we were really close and the emotions between us were like really flowing. And of course, you can't tell all of the truth at once. It's like in parts and you tell everything you remember and then there are questions like for example from me to her or from her to me uh, about a few other things and then you also tell that so now I'm coming to the second time the truth really sucked because at the beginning when we first talked it sucked but then got really good and yesterday there were some new things that came up and was also related to what I said on the day before from my truth from the things I didn't tell her and what I told her really hurt her and of course it's not my intention to hurt her but uh, we are who we are and it's never the case that like everything we do is like pleasing for other people and in that case what i told her really hurt her like i told her that i have a need for yeah intimacy and when i felt like the need wasn't like fulfilled for our relationship uh, i was looking for other places to fulfill this need inside of me not because I didn't want to feel it with her, but because I felt like we weren't able to be so close, which was because we weren't telling each other the truth. And now I told her that, I told her the truth and really hurt her. And I wasn't able to stay with her in that moment. Uh, I closed myself and I reacted like I, I I distanced myself kind of from her or I didn't take care of her when she was hurt because I was so stuck in my own emotions and actually I was stuck in my own emotions because I told her for the first time that I love her and I only had the ability to tell her that I love her because we sh were sharing so much and I was feeling so much of the flow and there was so much honesty that there was also so much intimacy for me that for the first time since in a long time like the first time ever I was able to tell her that I love her but I told her that when she was hurt and I wasn't aware how hurt she was and I didn't give her the space and my presence to stay with her and let her feel this hurt and I closed myself down which now I'm able to learn from that and now I don't know when I'm going to see her again or if I'm going to see her again because <laughs> okay <laughs> my throat <laughs> really hurts <laughs> Um, now I don't know when I'm going to see her again, but for me, like if I had the choice to tell her the truth again, I would still do it because I feel free because I told her the truth and I did everything I could and I made a mistake and I apologize for that and that's that, but now I'm able to learn from that mistake and I'm able to learn from the whole experience, but I'm glad and was still worth it to tell her the truth because like both of us saw, or at least as I saw, when we told each other the truth, there was a lot of intimacy, but telling the truth sucks because it can hurt our feelings. So I just wanted to give an update on this situation and i hope i can inspire someone else to also tell the truth even if it's hurt even if it sucks but that's the thing about opening your heart you make yourself feel vulnerable but you also feel alive you feel 
you feel yeah really connected with yourself even if it hurts and then hurts and then we learn from it but we can't learn if we don't tell the truth so that these are my new insights or the things I'm experiencing right now and I hope me sharing this enables you um, to learn a bit more about this and maybe also motivates you to tell the truth even if it sucks but even if I'm hurt right now and she's hurt right now it's still worth it because any other way would be even worse and we wouldn't be able to learn from it and to better ourselves for the present moment and the future. Thanks for watching.